And we got a little bit of a weird one. Two kind of counter meta characters. One of a little bit more of a traditional zoner. One very much the counter zoner zoner character. Tell me a little bit about what we can expect from this matchup, especially as, as seeing as you might be the people expert here from the way this bracket's gone so far. I, 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 I'm not so sure about that, but you know, uh, we, we got the, the arm cannon duel right now. So who's going to be wearing it better this time? Uh, I, I think, you know, starting off on PS2, we have a really wide open stage. So I think, you know, Sage Hazard uh, is going to get a little bit more for more bang for his buck, just on the sense that, uh, you know, able to pull back and do stuff just like that. Because as you saw just right there, the uh, the the power uh, beam just goes right. It just ate the, the, the beam. Uh, what is it? Yeah, the charge uh, shot goes through the, the F smash the blade. metal blade. Yeah, Pretty metal much blade. whatever you. you want. There we go. Even from this long range, though, right? Mega Man, one of the benefits of larger stages for Mega Man, you don't have that range compared to Samus, but what you do have is a lot more space to move, which allows you to still play that counter zoning game kind of schmicks your opponent up and find ways in, but right now people can only try and find his way off the ledge, Devin, and somehow manages to find a reversal. His pellet placement has been immaculate so far, even when he's bottom. Yeah, now we're seeing that, you know, Stage is going to be looking for getting the kill, and just like that, traps the roll uh, with a grab and just sends him off the top. So, taking the first stock and already kind of building... Uh, you know, some stuff. Like, kind of, kind of pushed back. Yeah, people are there finding a weird way out of that situation. He did DI into the forward air, but then found that hard knuckle. So somehow found his way through. Apparently, Samus has a blind spot on that forward air, very close to her body. Today, I learned finds the F smash to boot. Samus isn't the only one with a big blue laser ball coming out here. Yeah, uh, something I want to point out is just like something that we're seeing a lot, uh, like when. Uh, Sage is charging. You'll see a lot of like just doing it under the platform so that you know it's like kind of you can't come down with an aerial because she's got a nice little uh, roof over her head. Yep. And you know, when you're if you do throw an attack, you can't pass through the platforms and stuff like that. Now, the PS2 platforms, especially because they're slightly higher, can be really awkward for those heights. You get the short hop aerials pretty consistently still, but it's those full hop aerials with that extra damage multiplier that you find a lot more difficult. Right now, it's just people trying to extend this juggle in the corner situation. Overextending on the back of their oh, and Stage Hazard is going to take full advantage. This is where Samus thrives in the corner, but Mega Man with that hard knuckle has such good tools to find his way out of any situation. It's really interesting. We've seen both of these players uh, kind of like go for like the same like kind of positioning on the stage. Like you know, in general in PS2, you want to be under that platform for you know reasons already mentioned, and it's like it's kind of like the roll distance for the edge guard. And so we just see them keep trading uh, a lot of these. Oh. Yeah. Which, which is really interesting, as you mentioned, right? They do keep trading positions. Mm. We're not seeing resets back to neutral very often. And Pete there looking for it. But in, in his stead, he gets called out, loses the stock, and gets put right back into disadvantage. And it really has been, right? These two players swinging at each other or overextending and then getting reversal. It's just advantage, disadvantage. We're not really seeing a ton of neutral gameplay here at all. all right. Stage Hazard kind of stand back a little bit, just making sure uh, not to overextend and might be taking this first game. Not if Pete has anything to oh, say about it though. Work. Unfortunate misinput, my friend. Not the way you want to start off a set, but this is best of five territory. Still room to take a breather, recover, and keep yourself in this one on winner side. I want to let's. I want to take a look at that that last stock again. I want to know like, oh, did you know? Okay, so let's go back just a little bit. Boom! There we go. So right there, uh, ended up jumping, like in right before getting hit by that forward air, and that's why he just kind of fell to his doom. Mm -hmm. So it, it sounds like uh, what happened there was, you know, thought he had his jump because he, he might have probably thought it already got stuffed and, you know, kind of just... Because of that jump as well, though, he did miss he did miss that second to last hit, only getting hit by the second and fourth hits, and so was actually able to survive where he ordinarily would have taken that little extra percent and died. So. By positive and negative, they are over to Battlefield now, and with a triplat, you've got that little bit less space, Devin, but you also have 
have more vertical room to work with here, right? That top plat can allow Mega Man to circle camp, but same as with that up air, has some great juggling tools. Yeah, uh, we saw that uh, the the bands uh, on the state that Stage Hunter got rid of were Smashville and Hollow Bastion, uh, just because you know doesn't want to have like a large juggle center with you know, having to deal with like Mega Man up air. And so like honestly, the next the next best thing for Pete Bro is going to a stage like Battlefield uh, to get a, a pretty similar uh, thing. However, you know it kind of works as a double edged sword because it can also work in Samus's favor with like. This, literally this, where it's just like a lot of extra chained up airs and then ending with the up B. Where do you go, man? Where do you go in that situation? Especially that's those center plots, right? These battlefield platforms so close to the ledge, it doesn't have the same room where you can just drift back, still have a stage mix up to work with. You either kind of have to commit to platform or the ledge here, and Sam is so good at covering both and so good at getting up there that when you have that triangle, when you get caught in the air, at, you, as a character like Mega Man, there's just sometimes nowhere left to go. Right now, though, just looking for a way back once again. Stage Hazard's been doing a very good job of playing to his win conditions, right? Finding any opportunity to push Pete Bro into the, to the platform, catch him swinging. He's willing to play defensive because he's never let Pete Bro stay on the ground long enough at a CQC range where he can look for a grab, which is allowing Stage to shield with impunity and punish these back airs a lot more aggressively than he otherwise would be able to. Uh, I'm really enjoying, like, the... the the edge guard game plan that Sage Hazard has right now, where like if he has enough time to like punish Mega Man going up with up B, is like kind of just like covering that threat range and not like overextending, but then like has the wherewithal that like if the position isn't right, just staying like roll distance away from the ledge. Ooh, some real scrapping going on. Both players really trying to find a lead. Peepo does not want to go down 2-0, and you can see it in his gameplay. He is locked and loaded right now, trying to find a way once again out of this corner, forcing Stage to back off for the first time in that situation. All set long, but the screw attack, Devin. That Samus is get out of jail free card. Yeah, you can never really just like throw out a move if you're in that burst range, because you will get punished for it. Yeah, and it's it's so good and that hit electric property, the extra hit stun on just so hard to deal with as well. That explosion on that down tilt it'll cover so much vertical space. You don't expect it to be an anti-air until it catches your jump. And Pipo once again down a stock and trying to find his way back. Pipo definitely is looking for the kill uh, with, you know, uh, kind of. This is one of the things that like Mega Man can like kind of struggle to kill sometimes. Just gain the positioning for forward air or back air. Uh, and like with with a character that can hang back like Samus, it, it kind of just you know gets a little ooh, exacerbated. Yeah. But cheeky little frame trap there to close it out by catching you with the crash bomber, forcing the air dodge out to try and get through it. But that F smash ready and waiting. Leaf shield as well, such a good disruption tool. But people has really had a hard time finding his way through this very aggressive Samus ooh. play. Yeah, great spacing. Uh, like getting out of dodge of that up B and almost turned it into like a, a good juggle si uh, situation because like uh, Mega Man up air with rage like it's gonna send a little bit farther uh, and so you know, could, could reverse really easily. All right, now closing this gap. Is this too late? It's never. I don't know. I was gonna say never say never. Right, the people has been on a tear right now, clawing his way back, and because not all those screw attack hits hit, there's not enough. Damage racked on to quite close it out, but that down tilt is gonna do it. Samus is a heavy hitter when she wants to be, and she's looking to cash in this winner's winner side bounty on Anamanaguchi. Okay, so now kind of has his work cut out for him. The fact that like. <laughs> Down 2-0. Needs to make a 3-0 comeback if it wants to take this dub. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be running it back to Battlefield, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and the same bands from Sage Hazard being Smashville and Hollow Bastion. And, yeah, going back to Battlefield. It's a really interesting stage choice here to go back twice because Mega Man normally likes those wide flat stages, but Samus is with charge shot with missiles is one of the few characters who can kind of 
contest that mid-range movement game that Mega Man wants to play. Samus trades some of her mid-range versatility for a little bit better, longer, and short, close range, but it can be really awkward for the is Blue Bomber to deal with. Something that's a little interesting is uh, I'm, I'm not too sure how much Mega Man struggles uh, to recover on from the ledge. Ooh, unfortunate. Uh, but like, I could see like doing something like maybe an FD versus Samus, because then Samus doesn't have a roof over her head, and like she has to go through you at that point, uh, potentially. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. We're back on battlefield. And Sam, it's, it's not even as much as how much does Mega Man struggle to get off ledges. Right, Samus just arguably the best ledge trapper in the yeah. entire game with those timer bombs. Yeah. And so it doesn't matter because you have to get so creative to find your way out of dodge. And that's been, sta on top of it being his character strength, that's been stage hazard strength, right? Yeah. Pete Bro hasn't been given the room to work with to even find those opportunities, trying to find a grab, but stage hazard's discipline is just been on point. Really had the, the, the right idea, just not the, the positioning for it. Had the execution, had the reaction time. Uh, this looks like the set might be just going to Sage Hazard, but, you know, let's, let's see uh, if Pete Bro can pull something out. Yeah, I mean, hey, he's going to have to sing quite a tune here if he wants to find this game, Devin, but a great start finding the forward smash sending you on into the blast zone, and now a corner situation to boot, this could be big. Ooh. Ooh. Right, get, getting some good damage in. Uh, not taking any hits until I say something. Yeah, Devin, the caster curse all too powerful. Well, it's gonna be Pete trying to find his way out of dodge once again, but whether he goes high or low, it feels like Sage Hazard is just ready. He's been playing so non-committal, oh, willing to just not push buttons on ledge, and Pete is forced to swing, forced to use these leaf shields and get out of there because of that disruption, right? He's getting made uncomfortable, and that's really what Sage Hazard is capitalizing on. On, he conditioned Pete for those air dodges. We saw them throughout the whole set, and then when push came to shove, he just lined it up took the swing and hit that ball right out of the park. Yeah. This was a, such a, this part was such a, like a hard position because like at this point, you know, you're, you're tracking and like <laughs> you need to make this kill happen so you're just like trying to get a little bit close and with because of how floaty Samus is just like throws out a hit but then is able to like still swing before landing and then that kind of just like you know gave that two stock lead and really made things a lot harder uh. yeah uh, so moving on we're gonna have